What's up everyone, this is Joey, Flush Response, and today we're taking a look at the Frap Tools Fumana. Let's get right into it. All right, Frap Tools Fumana. This is an interesting one, highly specialized, highly rare, generally speaking, not something you see often. And uh, let's, let's get into it. It's a 16 band uh, spectral filter bank for use in EQing, vocoding, and more. Uh, spectral transfer and all these sorts of things. I've got a couple sources I'm going to put through it. First off is the um, morphogene. Very serious, a matter of importance. At this is a uh, no idea what I was seeing. A speech of Philip K. Dick. It resembled nothing that I back in the day described. talking about how he it believes he's entered the matrix and crossed over to multiple realities and stuff. It's super interesting, controversial. Sampled it many times in my tracks. Seven years of writing. And then the other and source is the um, Ataraxa Keteritas for noise engineering. Which sounds like this right now. So the basic idea beyond this, behind this is um, you have this filter bank, which is 16 bands. It's actually got a second one of 32 bands to do the spectral, uh, of another 16 bands with 32 in total to do the spectral transfer. Um, so you can have things modulate each other uh, to imprint their characteristics on them like a vocoder would. Um, so right now I have the Philip K. Dick speech vocoding the ataraxic, which sounds fucking insane by the way. Let's just put through the Vic. I'm curious. And you can go, it has a mono out, this is the all out, but you can also do pseudo stereo with the odd and even outs, um, which I can show you here, because it has odd and even uh, splits for the frequencies. And there's your pseudo stereo. Quite wild. I'm just like gonna run the gamut here of interesting sound sources to see what we can come up with. Uh, I'm gonna go to the three body. Now let's talk about just as an EQ. So I'll put the speech back in. Seven years of writing. Years of writing. At no time did I have a theoretical or conscious... Take off the mimeophone delay. ...preoccupation with these pluriform pseudo worlds. So you see I can scan the EQ and it's like a graphic EQ. You have these frequencies labeled here. They're actually the peak frequencies in between the two bands, as far as I understand. You have individual outputs here. Um, these are CV inputs for each frequency and then these are envelope follower outputs, which is also quite nuts. And you can use these controls here at the bottom to scan through, like picking how wide of a scan you're doing. Um, and where you are in the scan, et cetera, et cetera. Body of memories intact. And then, of course, if you bring these up, you bring up the frequencies on your own. Turn. You are free to believe me. I'm not joking. This is very serious. A matter of importance. At that time, I had no idea what I was saying. It resembled nothing that I had ever heard described. It resembled plasmic energy. It had color. We'll try the Brent, so. <laughs> Sounds wild. A little bit of delay. And this is like the main function of these. All of these filter banks, like the 296T, the Mark filter from Verbos, and God, I can't remember them all by now. Um, they all do this, but the Fumana is the only one that has 32 bands, so you could do proper vocoding. The other ones you have to split just the selection of bands you have on the front. So keep that in mind with the Fumana. Sick, by the way, huh? So yeah, that sounds pretty, pretty righteous. 
I'm FMing the pretzel right now. Let's start getting some drums going. We'll go a little faster. I want to get the ataraxic back in. Then you get this like filter bank vibe. But I like this one in mono more to be honest. Oxy meta for some verb. And let's start CVing it now. So we can take the uh, take an LFO into these uh, frequency controls. Getting wild. Really cool textures here. A little bit more reverb. This is like techno heaven. Now I'm just editing the Philip K. Dick speech. And you can even CV the individual uh, bands, of course. We're gonna do that with an LFO. We'll keep doing that. And you can see now they're CV'd. Let's get that pseudo stereo going again. And it gets wild when you spread it out like that. Now what I want to do is I want to take the um, the envelope follower out to to CV um, parameters on the ataraxic. And now you can hear it doing the soft fold.
also gonna have it uh, CV the uh, Boxy Meta. And it's doing the gator there. Actually, gonna take that out. We're gonna have its uh, CV. Some stuff on the morphogene. And we'll keep having it CV shape. Taking it out, do with all that CV. That's just the speech going through it now. Wow, that's almost even cooler. <laughs> Need some reverb on that. <laughs> Gonna try the Branso again. Flip them. Let's just hear our modulation signal gun. There's a topic which has been discovered recently. All right, yeah. Now back. Take those same CV outputs to the Brenso FM inputs. Wow, wild. That's some demonic speech right there. Stretching out. Wow, I'm vibing with that. Changing the modulation. We're going to take the all output and have it modulate itself for fun. We'll have it modulate the scan. 
Or wild. I want to hear it in mono. That's a dope fucking drone. Fuck yeah, fractals. Switch back to the Adoraxi. No, I'm still feeling the Brent so. Wild. Oh, that's some insane texture. It's like mutated aliens. See them communicating through tree roots or something. That's nuts. I hate demos like this because I know I fucking want this thing. Oh. <laughs> Send it some CV from the Laquella Cateritas Procedo audio rate. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's our dry signal, by the way, guys. The most alien fucking tones I've heard in a while. Wow. Send it from the DPO final out. Sine wave out. Wow. Then we'll have an envelope follower up, modulate the DPO frequency. That's audio rate modulating it. And everything will modulate everything. We'll go from the final output. Have that modulate the folder. And we'll have that go into another op input to the unvoice. Oh no, we'll take the all envelope follower input to do this. I'm just plugging shit in to see what works by now, but I'm in general like. We'll have the envelope follower out. Another envelope follower out, I should say. Modulate. The micro mod on the... On the mimeophone. And we'll have another one do zone. Now we're getting really alien. Oh my god. Also modulating feedback. We'll have another one. Modulate the color. Oh my god.
I'm also having it modulate the item. Wow, so many things happening here. And that envelope follower is modulating the, the drum rolls here. This is truly alien. Changing the zone modulation. Wow, I don't even know. I'm a little speechless here, wow. All this modulation is happening because of the Fumana. Wow. Need to put some more stuff in the path. Just have more modulation, you know? Take it out to the reverb here. Then we'll have it do side CV. Wow. I have another one. The feedback CV. Insane. Put some pitch TV into the Brenta. And that's just our voice again. Wow, this is a real fucking exploration here. Pseudo stereo.
Fraptal's Fumana. So that was crazy. I think I barely scratched the surface there. I've been using the Fumana a lot in my studio uh, since I've had it here for a bit. Uh, and just finding weird tones. Today I took it to another place entirely that I haven't before because when I was using it previously, I was like, I'm not gonna do the vocoding thing because that's the obvious thing to do. But wow, it led to such crazy results and I'm really impressed with the sounds. That's two for two for Frap Tools for me because the brand sounds incredible and I keep using it. And I have to say that their stuff is supremely high quality. The sound quality and vibe reminds me a lot of Surge in the best way because to me, Surge is the highest level of sound and Frap is right up there. And of course, this is a very specialized tool. It's a very expensive tool. This is not for everyone. This is for someone who has the budget to go deep into this kind of sound. And you can do it other ways with other vocoders, but wow, this one is just incredible sounding and I'm, I'm really impressed by it. So samples of it are gonna be up on my Patreon. They're gonna be especially alien this time. Um, if you wanna support in other ways, I have a new masterclass out with Sign. If you wanna know how I do my productions from beginning to end with every detail explained, this is the place to find out. There's a link in the pinned comment video description. My new album Sprawl is out uh, on Artifact Records, 10 tracks, two with Mark Hill's Cubanate doing guest vocals, and my label Megastructure has a new compilation out called Sound on the Fringe. All the cassettes are in and orders have been shipped. The cassettes are sold out. Thank you, that's really cool. Uh, and the digital is available now. So if you bought it already, enjoy. And if you haven't, check it out. 17 of the craziest producers I could find, full list right here. If you wanna support in other ways, like and subscribe, check out Patreon, and I'll catch you next time. Peace out.